Hello everyone, my name is Python GB, and as you can see, we have ourselves a blooming solar eclipse on our Ranger playthrough. This, of course, is either the 30th or 31st episode. I actually can't remember, to be honest with you, because I... I'm not good with numbers, apparently. Oh, right. I guess, uh, I guess let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and take all these guys out the game. Yeah. Alright, let's see how good this, uh, pulse boat actually is, shall we? Because apparently you guys have been saying it's, like, one of the best things in the entire game. It certainly does a lot of bouncing and a lot of damage as well. Look at that, 109. And that's just by default as well. Damn. And it pierces enemies. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, I don't know, man. You guys might be right. It might actually be one of the best bows in the game. I mean, of course it is. It's like the one of the absolute tops, isn't it? Duh. Right. I'll tell you what, if I get a blooming death sickle today, I am going to be a very, very mad python. I really will be because that is one thing I didn't manage to get on my warrior playthrough, unfortunately. But uh, I don't really want to spend too much time trying to get solo eclipses to happen and all that jazz. So I decided to not do that. So, yes, we have a tsunami and, of course, the pork's bow. Both very, very good. I wouldn't be able to tell you which one's better, though, honestly. That would be a pretty good video, wouldn't it? Huh? Tsunami versus the Pulse Bow. <laughs> uh, who would win? I don't know. I do not know. Alright, let's keep this thing going though. But, as you guys well know, the solo eclipse actually happens during the daytime. And as such, the actual event lasts for about 15 minutes. The same as the normal day duration. So, after that, obviously, I don't want to have really a 15 minute episode. So after that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into the underground jungle in an attempt to try and get the Uzi. The Uzi, of course, is uh, pretty cool. Something I don't think I've had in a single player Let's Play before. I'm pretty sure we had it on the old uh, Terraria Cobb Let's Play, but by myself, I've never had it before. So that would be pretty interesting to get, would it not? All right, y'all are dead. All right, keep it going, friendos. Keep it going. <laughs> I love the pulse bow. Look at it. It's just, just crazy. It's a crazy bow. It's ridiculous. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Love it. This bow is amazing. The best thing is, you can use whatever arrow you want. You can even use the standard arrow. And it will still do a very, very nice amount of damage. I, I like that. I like that. That's very, very cool. I don't know. Maybe it's a perk with a weapon. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if using different ammo actually gives you more damage. I don't know, man. I don't know if it works in the case of the old pulse bow, because obviously it shoots the same thing every single time. But then again, the Molten Fury is the same, isn't it? Shoot any arrows, they turn into flamed arrows, don't they? Hmm. Interesting. Will you go away, Sunshine? Thank you. There we go. Alright, you're dead, you're dead, everybody's dead. You watch, I'm not even going to get one broken hero sword, am I? Nah, it's not going to happen, is it? Never going to happen. Not in a million years would I ever get a broken hero sword from this first go. It just doesn't happen. Well, I say it doesn't happen. I think it's happened maybe once before. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. <gasps> well, okay. I am now eating my own words, apparently. There's a broken hero sword. Obviously, we have absolutely no need to have them because... Uh, you know, they're only used for the old Terror Blade. And of course, the Terror Blade is melee, so we can't use that. Ha. Huh. Cool. That's pretty cool, I guess. Like I said, I would be incredibly mad if I got the Blumen Death Sickle today, though. That would be stupid. And as such, in the laws of reverse psychology, Terraria has got to give me the Death Sickle now. <laughs> That's just how it works. It's just how it works. There you go. Hey, look at that. Broken Batwing. Hey, nice. I like that. Ooh, red drops galore. Nice. I still want to try and get the coin gun as well. I think that would be a very, very cool thing to have. Again, something I have never, ever had legitimately obtained before. I've had it in, uh, in sort of test worlds and uh, maybe maybe the odd uh, multiplayer thing with uh, with Pedgrin, but I don't know. I can't remember, honestly. Right. Oh, well, everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's just get back over here. My NPC should hopefully be safe if I'm over here. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, man. Wow, that sun is going really slowly, isn't it? Big eclipse. What is that? Broken hero sword. That is number two. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Get one more and we'd be able to make the Blooming Terror Blade outright. But uh, I have no need to have that. A broken bat wing once again. 
We are doing pretty well with the old rare mob drops, aren't we? Holy crap. Doing a lot better than I first thought. Not even halfway through the night and we've got a couple of... Well, we've got quite a few rare mob drops, haven't we? Nice. I'm a big fan of this. Look at this. Look at this. Fantastic stuff. We could just sell them, obviously. Give us a bunch of money for doing that. Uh, but yeah, we're just continuing doing this thing. Hello. Anybody? Hey, Frankenstein. Y'all did. All right, let's keep going. So, in terms of the rest of the series, pretty much it's just going to be farming episodes. There really isn't that much else to do in this Ranger Let's Play, apart from try to farm to get the things that I want. So, for example, we do still have the Frost Moon to come, so obviously we'll be spending some time in a future episode doing that. Probably next episode. Don't quote me on that, though. I have no idea just yet. But, yeah. Frost Moon and maybe the odd boss farming stuffs. I don't know. At the end of this episode, I want to try and farm Plantera just a little bit. Maybe we can get the Venus Magnum. That'd be pretty cool. Another one off our list. And obviously, if we manage to get the Uzi, then, uh, yeah, that's going to be awesome sauce. Awesome sauce! Hello! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, fool! Get, get wrecked! Alright, there you go. Uh, hi! Hi, how you doing? Hi! Good day to you, sirs! Good day to you! Come on! Keep it going! Hmm. The only thing I think is a weakness with the pulse bow is obviously it only shoots out one at a time and it almost always uses a piece of ammo. And as such, the tsunami, of course, does more damage per second. And it's certainly got a better ammo sort of con conservation thing. I mean, look, it shoots out five arrows. It's awesome. Shoots out five arrows, only uses one ammo. Awesome. This thing uses one and only gives you one. So, yeah, I guess that's a weakness with the old pulse bow. All right. But it's it's a very, very good bow, by all accounts, whatever the case. All right. And I guess one of the other reasons why I want to go into the underground jungle is to try and get the blooming key mold. I need the jungle key mold. The piranha gun is another thing I want to try and get. That's, of course, obtained by the jungle hard mode dungeon chest. Still haven't opened one of them yet. Not on this let's play, anyway. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Good day to you, sirs. Hello. Hi. Well, look at you trying to be smart and health. There we go. I'm not dying today. If I die today, then I'll be... I'll be a very embarrassed python. I will indeed. Right. Oh, hi, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Shotguns. I call shotguns. I love shotguns. Shotguns in this game are so cool. The boomstick is a very good weapon. If you if you ever want to do yourself a Ranger playthrough, try and get the boomstick. It's a very, very good weapon. It is a shotgun, of course. Uh, it shoots out, I think it's it's two bullets from one ammo. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Oh, no, I might have to... Hold on. There we go. Thin out the old crowd a little bit. There we go. Now we can get back to the old shotguns. At this point, I'm just trying to use a different variety of weapons just so I can keep things interesting, I guess. Should I try and use my sniper? I think that'd be a pretty funny thing to do. Hello! Y'all dead! You're dead! You're dead as well! Okay, everybody's dying. Good stuff. Hello! Alright, here we go. Big rocket launcher. Wow. I guess I'm all, <laughs> I guess I'm all a surprising amount of light. Damn! Get wrecked! Oh boy! Alright, he's dead, he's dead, they're all dead. Oh, another broken hero sword! There we go, that's three of them! Huh, interesting. Interesting stuff indeed. Hmm. Well, all we need to do is get a Knight's Edge and, a, and an Excalibur, and that is it, basically. We just get all the things done, but obviously we don't need to. <laughs> oh man. I feel like making it just so I can sell it, but I don't think that will be a very good return on investment, unfortunately. Alright. Okay, we're, we must be getting close at this point. Must be getting close. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Good stuff. Hello. <laughs> oh, blooming guys. Look at these fools. They're, they're, they're still coming at me. I don't know why. I don't know why they even bother. Huh? What is this? I don't get it. See? Yeah, look at me sniping around like a fool. Do you know what? I should probably make myself go invis and then I'll do more damage, won't I? There we go. There we go. Serious damage. Like a pro. 
I should probably just stay like this for the entire rest of the event. I mean, look at that. I'm, I'm just killing everybody at this point. <laughs> what is even the point? What is even the point? When you get to this stage in the game when you've got ridiculously OP weapons, and the, these events are just grindy. There's like no actual skill involved. Not, not really, anyway. Oh, man. Hello. Okay. Oh, that was just a bit too easy, that was. And so was that. Uh, what have we got? Vampire banner? We've got a Swamp Thing banner? No sign of a Deathsicle just yet. I don't know why I'm so eager to get a Deathsicle. There is literally no point. Nor do I think was there any point to me doing this in the first place. There's no ranged weapons you can get from the Solar Eclipse, is there? I'm sure there isn't. It's just a... It's just an event. It's just an inconvenience. Hmm. Okay. Okay, is that everybody done? Hmm? How about now? Should I go up here and turn your background off so I can see what time of day it is? It's only three quarters through the day? My god! I thought it was later than that. Honestly thought it was later than that. Come on! There we go, that's all of them out of the game. And so are you. <laughs> oh man. Oh! Hi, how you doing? Good lord. Yep. <laughs> I've literally run out of things to commentate about. My god! <laughs> That's the only thing about having a Blummet event go through the day. It lasts for like six minutes longer than it would if it was in the night time. And as such, it just becomes such a repetitive and grindy procedure that eventually it just becomes not fun. <laughs> It just becomes not fun. I mean, yeah, if you get cool stuff, then yeah, I guess that's kind of fun, but I don't know. I, don't, I just don't see a point to me doing this. Hello. <laughs> oh, dude. Blooming Eyesles again. I mean, if you're going to spawn, then give me something, yeah? Give me something to work from. <laughs> we done yet? I want to get him with the plantera farming, buddy. Really want to get on with it. Hello. Hi. It's like no one's even spawning anymore. They know that they're going to die upon their spawn. So, I just, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Hello. What the hell? Get out of here. Oh, what's going on down here? Not a lot, funny enough. Not a lot. Another broken hero sword. That's four. That's not bad from one event. Four. Pretty good. Much better than most of my previous Let's Plays where I get either one or zero. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hello. Where's all the Reapers at, man? This is no Reapers. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Do -do 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 -do. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There's a lot of you guys, aren't there? Huh? Meh. Still doing well. Still doing well. Much killing. Such wow. A lot of killing. Come on, I, I dare you to give me a death sickle. If you give me a death sickle, I'm going to be the maddest person alive. I really will be. Because it means it's something that I could have potentially gone ahead and done another, ep another episode of farming on. But obviously I'm not going to do that because that LP is finished. Oh! Alright, looks like the event is about to end. The sun is just about to go down. I can barely see the sun anymore. Or eclipse thing. You know. You know what it is. Okay. I like how there's loads of reapers spawning now. As if it was to say, do you know what? Because you say you don't want a death sickle, I'm going to give you a death sickle. That's the sort of thing Terari would do to me. That actually is the sort of thing Terari would do to me. Go on, there's like less than a minute left at this point. Less than a minute. Is it possible? Nah, I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Don't think it's going to happen. Is that it? No. Still not it. Come on! Come on, buddy! 
There we go. That is the end of the solo clips, ladies and gentlemen. My god. 15 minutes of pretty much farming and getting not a lot of stuff, basically. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Right, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a, uh, a, a sort of montage -y type thing for the old, uh, for the for the jungle trip. So, let me grab myself a couple of Spelonka potions. I guess I can go ahead and max out my life, hopefully, if I manage to find the, uh, if I manage to find the life route. So, let me go ahead, get on with this uh, underground jungle trip, and I'll show you guys back at the house with my results. Pirate invasion! I gotta take them guys down again. Why'd you have to pop up with this stuff now, Terraria? <laughs> Why do you even bother? Why are you even trying to throw this at me, bro? God damn it! Well, I guess we're gonna be doing that next, my friends. Okay, it'll probably be our final attempt to try and get the coin gun. If we don't get the coin gun from it, I'm probably gonna call trying to get it there, I guess. Right, okay, we've got a little bit more time before the pirates actually uh, start spawning. So let's just continue. Oh, there we go, they've arrived. Time to go home and get this thing on. Have been defeated already. Yeah, that was a pretty quick invasion, wasn't it? Oh boy, the guard has arrived. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I, I didn't really get anything out of it, did I? Ah, well, that's a bit heartbreaking. That is a bit heartbreaking, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, I'll tell you what. We're going to end the episode there. I'm going to decide to not split it into two parts. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Before I go, before I go, I will pick up them things off camera, but there's one thing I want to do before I go, and it is make the hoverboard, if possible. So let's go over here, make ourselves a bunch of chlorophyte bars. That's 34. I don't know if that's enough, honestly. Just chuck them away. Okay, now we gotta go up to the thing. Okay, up to the dude. Hello. Hi. Boom. Please do give me all of this. There we go. Let's see what we can make. Alright, what have we got going here? So, shoe my digging claw. Awesome source. Do I make the Shroomite Dinger Claw or do I make the Hoverboard? The Hoverboard, I believe, requires souls. Let's go get the souls. I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Hoverboard. Because I don't think I've ever had it before. So, that will be very, very interesting to have. Chuck that away. Okay. And... Hoverboard! Oh, me good! Oh, me good. It's, it's my first ever Hoverboard. Holy crap. Oh, my God. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Right, how do you how do you stabilize yourself? I don't know how you stabilize yourself. Oh! Oh! Ah, you hold the down key and then you can just go to left and right. Oh, that is awesome. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.